Hi gentlemen, welcome back. So today we continue with magnetic motors. So yesterday I announced that I'm working on new motor and showed some images from the design and I, now I have the final product. Yeah? So that's it. So that is Jean's James magnetic motor. So you can see from the beginning it's not like some typical construction because we have some different setup like in other magnetic motors I designed it until now. So let's get started from this strange thing which is uh, outside. Uh, this over here and what would that be for? Yeah? So it's, it's simple. That would be our mechanism for adjusting the desired power. And that's it. Yeah? There are more details on this mechanism but this setup I draw represents it pretty pretty well. Yeah? So that's it. Now, uh, so we can now hide this not to be on our way and we can also hide this one. So basically this and this would be our stators. Yeah? On these stators will be our permanent magnets. Yeah? And the rotor is in the middle, this part over here. Yeah? So let me now hide one stator that we can see through. And I will try to describe very quickly now how this, uh, how all this should work. Yeah? Okay, as you can see here, so this will be our rotor. Our rotor, it's very simple design. So you can see we have only two magnets on the top and on the other side we have a counterbalanced weight. And this would spin now in following way and, and, and I will show, yeah? Okay, so this, that was very simple rotor. And now let's, let's describe this stator, yeah? So this is something more tricky and all, all, secrets, all secrets are in this, actually, this stator. So you can see this, what I will select right now, this will be our mechanism for shielding of the magnets, yeah? So this will enable us that we avoid the um, counterbalance or uh, opposing magnetic field yeah and now i will try to also select the magnets that you see that you can understand how so if i go back and i can select the permanent magnets and the magnet which now is unshielded at this point okay now we can see so basically we have the permanent magnets uh, are behind this uh, cover which is from magnetic shielding material and of course you can see there is some springs spring mechanism which will uh, um, push down and release or free the permanent magnet that it can push the stator. So if I go back, uh, if I go back, if I now select also the rotor, the rotor, uh, and now you will understand. So basically this is it. Now this is the setup. Uh, we have the unshielded magnet and this will spin in clockwise direction and when we unshield this, you know, in, in, this uh, in this way, yeah, uh, it will push this uh, magnet uh, on the to continue to spin. Yeah? So basically, this will go up and down. This magnetic shielding plates will go up and down very quickly, and it will unshield. So I see right now that I, I made a mistake. From this side, it's it's correct. Now, when this magnet come, it will repel and in, in the clockwise direction. I I just have to turn around all these magnets. So, so that that's my fault. Yeah, but you can understand. If I turn it for uh, 180, it would be the same as this one, and that would be a correct setup. And that's basically it. So by means of this magnetic shielding and unshielding, with this complex setup of springs, we are able to over overcome opposing magnetic field, which would stop our rotor from spinning. Yeah. Uh, unhide, and basically. This is the also this special mechanism is to adjust the motor desired uh, power of the generator. And that's it. That's all. So thank you, gentlemen. I think I managed to explain this motor pretty pretty well. Uh, leave your comments down in the script, uh, down in the comment sections. And that's it. So until next video, just stay tuned on my channel. Bye bye.